All right, today we're going to set up a personal portfolio on folio.mtholio.edu. I'm going to start by logging in. Um, it's my standard Mount Holyoke username and password. And here we come to my dashboard. So you can see I've got a few sites already on here. Um, I'm going to go to my sites, and that's where I can add a new one. So let's see, I've already got a whole bunch of these. I'm going to choose one with my full name, Nicholas Baker. Nicholas Baker Artist. I can hide this from people if I want. Um, I can also limit it to only people on the network. So if you want to work privately, that's a good way to do it. Although realistically speaking, no one's going to find it until you start linking out to it. So by default, it gives me this generic theme. And if I say customize, I'll be able to see that I'm using theme 2017. I can choose other themes from the list. Uh, chosen is a nice clean one and works pretty well. Um, 2015, it's not bad if you like the featured images. Uh, but for artist websites these days, I'm using mostly 2017. The nice thing about WordPress is it lets you switch without having to worry too much about it. Um, so the next thing I usually do is go through these different settings, typography, it's the default fonts, that's fine. Um, site identity. I can say artist, etc. I could turn off those things if I wanted. The colors. I almost always choose the dark header media. I could add a video here. I can change my image. So let's say add a new image. I'm going to select a new one from my desktop. Um, maybe this detail of a work. I'm particularly happy with select and crop. It's going to prompt me to sort of crop it down to a size that works well. So now there's my artwork. I can also set menus. So I would like to have a main menu. It's the top menu. And I'm going to add items to it, including a home link. And in the menu options, we can automatically add new top-level pages to this menu. That's good. So as we add pages to the site, they'll show up. I can also choose to add footers. I'm going to choose a simple, let's say, text footer and say, be right, Nick Baker. Done. And home page settings, latest posts or a static page. I choose a sample page, but I can put a different one in there if I choose. And finally, theme options. I usually go with one column on this setup. So let's publish all these changes. Published, great. The next thing I want to do is cut out all the bits and pieces of things that make this look like a blog. So like all the share buttons, all the comments, 
I don't want any of that. So I'm going to go up to the dashboard. And there's a couple places where we can do this. Um, under settings, discussion. We can turn off comments, allow people to comment, people to post comments on new articles. Should do it. And then under add to any, I'm going to turn off all that sharing. There's a button. Don't display anywhere. Save those changes. I'm going to jump back into the discussion and make sure it. Aha, uh -huh, I forgot to save. So we don't let allow comments on new articles. Save changes. So now I've got two main areas where I'm going to work pages and media. Let's go to media first. I can add items, so it's already got that header image. I can drag and drop them or select them. I'm going to grab a couple of these. This one, maybe that one. You can see it adds these all. And in fact, it looks like it. Ah, oh, there we go. I thought it did it twice. Um, so I have all these different images available. It's a good idea. It takes the title from your file name to add alt text to go along with it. Here's a detail of some mold. Here's a pretty brick. And a little virtual reality. I don't want to call it screenshot. And now I can put these into pages. So let's see, all my pages. They give me a sample page, that's the front page. I'm gonna change this and just call it home. And I can change the text. Um, folio, when I update it, now, if I go back to my home page, home it says home. This is a sample portfolio. So let's go back to the dashboard. I want to add some other pages. So I'm going to add um, set works. And I can add media. So I can insert this one. Attachment options. Here is where you can change some features of it. So if I have it linking to nothing, all people will see is this large image, 525 by 279. If I use the full size one, that's enormous. That would be too slow to load. If I wanted to give people the option of seeing it, I could let them link to the media file. Let's try that. Insert into page. And publish. Now I can view my page. Here's my first thing. And you'll see it added it to my top level menu the way I asked it to. And because I linked it to the media file, if you click on this, it will actually open up that full high-res image. And you can see the plane and the Apache helicopter up in the sky. You can see the detail of the smokestack. All under works. Go back to my dashboard. Let's add another new page. I'll 
call this, um, say my bio, or you could call it about. Maybe add another one, my process, of media, work and media. We'll pop a picture in there. This one I'm gonna make sure it's gonna put the large one in, but I don't need it to link to anything. You could, don't have to publish immediately. You could save it as a draft. You could even tell it to publish it sometime in the future or pretend that you published it sometime in the past. If I go and do that page, again, it's added process. And this is nice because it's also responsive. If I squeeze this down to a cell phone size, you can still see the images. It works very nicely. Um, if I wanted to rearrange these things, I'd have to go back into customize. And we're going to get into the menus, the main menu. And here's where I can rearrange things. So I can move process over here. Um, I could even Put it underneath my works. So now it shows up here. You might do this if you're doing, you know, sculpture, painting, etc. So that will get you started on a very basic sort of website. Um, the only other thing I would consider doing if we go to edit this page are different ways of adding uh, media. You can put things in as a slideshow. Um, but the settings are a little clunky. You can also add media galleries. If I say create gallery, I can choose a couple different things, create a new gallery, and then I can say, what do they link to? Maybe the attachment page, let's do two columns and give them a medium sized item. Now I've got a little gallery here. Go back and view the page. And I can see here are two columns of works. You could do a whole series of thumbnails and then each of these will link into the attachment page. Um, this information is controlled in the media library. All right, edit my media. Brains detail. Update. And view attachment page. So this page still has a whole bunch of widgets on it. And if we go back into customize, I can get rid of those. I believe it's under widgets blog sidebar, remove the search, remove recent posts, remove comments, remove archives. The less it looks like a blog or a WordPress site, the better. And this does seem to allow comments unfortunate. So you can see there are pluses and minuses of the different bits and pieces. Typically if you create a page you have the most control over how it appears um, and with these different items you can decide exactly how you link or what you link to. So if I wanted to go in here and select this thing and edit it, currently it's linking to none. 
I could link it to the attachment page, directly to the media file, or even to a custom URL. And I could put in the link of another page on my website if I wanted to create special pages for each artwork. So that's about it. Good luck with your folio and don't hesitate to reach out if you have any questions.